Well, look, it's very unlikely uh, that she's going to meet with Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, and it's certainly not on the agenda. And these are two politicians of, at this point, very different levels of the Russian president, clearly the president, uh, Marine Le Pen coming at the moment as candidate for uh, the French presidency. So let's get that out of the way. It seems very unlikely. So who will she be meeting? Well, uh, we know that she'll be meeting with Leonid Slutsky, who's the head of the Parliamentary Foreign Committee. She's going to be taking part in a, a meeting. Now, Slutsky uh, at, at the Duma, the, the parliament here. Now, Slutsky himself is known for organising trips for uh, French politicians in Russia and, and to Crimea. He's certainly a man of influence. And she's also going to be meeting, just a little later on, uh, Vladislav Volodin, who's uh, close to Vladimir Putin, used to be one of his aides. He's now Speaker uh, of Parliament. Now, these are both men of uh, significant clout in Russian politics. If Marine Le Pen wanted to meet people of influence, these are certainly two of uh, the men that she would uh, have chosen. Now, they say that they're going to be talking about broad questions of international uh, politics or the fight against terror. But certainly one thing that's going to be at the front of Marine Le Pen's mind here is the question of how she going to finance her party as she goes into the first and potentially the second rounds of the Russian, of the, uh, the French uh, presidential uh, elections. Now, she did receive 9 million euros from uh, a Russian-based bank back in 2014. That bank has since gone bankrupt. She's been looking for money elsewhere from a US bank, for example, uh, at the end of, at the, in the middle of last year. That didn't turn out. So what she does have when she comes to uh, Russia, and which she is in Russia now, uh, is a big hole in her bank account that she could perhaps be looking to fill.